Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is the Innocent Moon Washing Machine. And just up on the right of the picture, you can see this Chinese control board, universal control board for washing machines that I've retrofitted to the Innocent Moon. And you judge for yourself, is it working properly or is it not? Ultimately, I took forever to fit it and I got it to work, kinda. So come with me on a journey, all the highs and the lows of getting this control board to work. Stay tuned. Out of some kind of respect for the Indusit Moon, I've kept all the original connectors, so the complete wiring loom is original. I've used other things to make up a new wiring loom, like strip connectors. I've replaced this block connector here with some spade connectors. And down at the motor and element, I've used a combination of spade connectors that came with the kit, block connectors that came with an old wiring loom that I reused, and down here the same on the motor. If we look in here at the back, at the motor, this is the motor connector. I've disconnected it. I happen to have a spare one that I've popped apart. This one's only got six wires, but this one has seven. So I'll make up a new one with seven wires that'll go from here all the way up to the top. This is an insertion tool, I think. I'm not entirely sure, I've never used one. I'm hoping it's the right thing. I think it's a bit wide for this device. So I've got a spare cable left over. If I might use it for the earth or something like that. And this should snap in. Just like that. Not bad. It's obviously a bit of a bodge, but that's okay, I think. nothing if it's not messy so the power's coming in here from the main suppressor and you've got motor connections here they're the brushes coming in here there's three stator windings or three taps on the stator winding but you can only use two on this machine so i've got these two here i think it wants you to use the fast ones i don't know which one's which so i've got this one taped off for now if you don't know what i'm talking about here have a look at my video for how to wear a washing machine motor i explain it in a bit more detail and how to control the speed taco coil they come in over here this one here ntc so the temperature sensor so if you load a neutrals tight together here, neutral off the door switch, neutral off the pump, neutral off the inlet valves. Two inlet valves, door switch and pump tight to neutral. The one thing I haven't connected yet is the pressure switch actually. I've got to do that. So I've got them snapped in. Live brown coming in, low and blue, high and red. Red goes to high water level, blue to low water level. And the live, there's a second tap for the live over here. And that should be it. If I plug it in, it might work. a start so the way i've got it wired in here i've got to be wary of this board it could be live parts of it could be live better not touch it likewise anything in the machine could be live as well cable tied this on here but i'm not particularly pleased with that the way the cables are they want to flop back in let's try and have a look at this board in fact let's slide it off and take a closer look at it so that was the power on it's got a start button program button process button and a warm button try the warm button 40 60 <laughs> So the original thing that I set out to change about this system was uh, We lost power in the garage 
Very strange, so it tripped the main or CD breaker on the house. Try turning it on again, but I have a feeling it's coming from this issue. Unless there's an earth that I can see that's obviously getting lost somewhere. Don't know, let's try it again. It's coming on, you see. Flashed on, let's turn it on. Okay, process, rinse, wash, rinse, rinse, spin, pre-wash. Silk, cashmere, chemical fiber. Can you see that? Chemical fiber, fluid, silk, cashmere. Fluid, I wonder what that means. Warm. Let's try it on 40, because it's got a cold only fill. And it could be an issue with the door switch. It could be anything. Let's put some laundry in it. Let's put some soap in here. Just a little. Close it up. We won't see anything on an indusit moon anyways. 40 degrees fluid, wash, rinse, spin. Start, wash is flashing. Door switch error. Oh, this could take all day. Turn it off. I'm not sure about the door switch down there, what way the wires come out, or even if it's the correct kind of door switch to go with this. I hope it is. It's a door interlock, three wires. It should be straightforward. It seems from the wiring diagram that when you turn on the door interlock, it dr drops a solenoid over, which makes a contact on the neutral to energize all the neutrals on the board uh, through a strip connector that I've lost somewhere down here. We're not live at the moment. So this strip connector has all these neutrals combined. I might have the wrong neutral on so that these would all have been energized now, but not after the door was locked. And that could have been an issue. Don't know. So we'll try it and see. It might just blow up. Let's, uh, let's not touch it while we're doing that then. So let's cut to the chase here. I spent about an hour faffing around with this door interlock, trying to figure out what was wrong, different wiring combinations, taking the thing apart, trying to figure out how it worked. It did my head in. Ultimately, I think what was wrong was I hadn't closed the washing machine door properly. There's a lesson there for you. Always check the simple things first. Put the lock back in, the original wiring combination, and bang the door, and it worked just fine. One last go before I ask for help. Let's leave the door open this time. Power on. Start. The door is open. If you can see that, maybe you can't, down there. So there's a door switch error. So, power on. Close the door. Oh ho! Very strange. It's taken on water. That's a win. I wonder will the pressure switch work to stop it. It might take on an awful lot of water. Maybe it won't. It's on cold, it doesn't matter to me. It's filling through the grey hose, which is the one on top. It sounds like it's taking a lot of water. The door is locked. <laughs> it's got an extreme amount of water in it now, I'd say. If only this indecent had a glass door. So it's filled. And now we're getting a... So it's filled up and now we're getting a motor error. Ah, uh, motor. Okay. So even more messing around with me trying to swap cables and pull things around, thinking I had the stator windings incorrectly chosen, I guess. And I'm putting on a connector on here and I'm going to plug that one in instead of one of the other ones and all that. And you'll see in a second what I've done wrong. So I'm under the machine, and I've just noticed that this cable's off, and that would have been whenever I was deciding which ones were which, brushes or stator windings. I guess I didn't put it back on again. That might be the answer. Okay, back up on top. So with the motor back together, we're live. And process, spin. It doesn't have a spin speed button. I think it'll depend on which of the windings I've used as to whether it'll go fast or not, actually. Drain. Door lock. Yeah, it's pumping out. Okay. But it's already empty. So now you should be able to see that motor spin around. Oh ho! It's not 
not sure. Oh, and look, there's an arrow showing that it's spinning. I'm gonna give it a shift because the ground is not flat. That's a bit better for it. It's not particularly fast. It just says spin. And the, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's coming on and off that arrow. It's hardly a spin, is it? I need to tie up the cables in the back a bit better. They were clattering off the moving belt, which is not a good sign. Wow, it's really unsure about things. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> At this point it'd be a good idea to test the temperatures on the control board because the machine had been running for quite a while i've clipped out a lot of the footage of it spinning but it was spinning and spinning for maybe 10 minutes at this point and i was worried that the heat sink on the motor controller was going to get too hot but as you can see from those readings it really didn't well then what do you make of that not for the faint heart today eh? On the instructions, it says adjust dry speed, adjust speed dry garment JP1 and short circuit JP2. If the speed of dehydration is not enough, can think about short connect pin plug, short circuit JP1 to change the size ratio of belt wheel, short circuit JP2 to change the pulse ratio of survey speed coil, and short circuit JP3 to reduce temperature. Ooh, sounded a bit sparky there. Uh, I think the pulse ratio of the sender. The taco might be wrong and that's why it's being a bit jittery. I'm guessing it's doing some kind of a load distribution thing now. I don't know. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm kinda worn out playing with this today. I've been at it for hours. After all that, a few hours, maybe three or four hours of messing around with this Indocent Moon washing machine and the SXY universal control unit. We've gotta think about What's the point? <laughs> I'm all for repairing stuff. Repairing stuff is a great idea. But this thing, this method of repair, this trying to patch one thing onto another, I like that you can do it. I like that it's cheap. The reality is this machine would never work as well as it would or as it was originally intended to with a device like that. The world's a funny place. And once upon a time, people repaired things. That's what we like to think. The reality is that some people would never repair things and other people will always repair things and they will try no matter how hard to repair things. The issue is that in the world today there are more people and there are more things to repair and so we're stuck with so many things that need to be repaired whenever they break that we don't have the time as individuals. Whatever about people becoming consumers and all that nonsense, I don't have the time to fix everything that breaks if it were to break in my house. So instead I buy things that I think are durable and I repair things that I think are worth repairing. I very rarely throw anything out, but if I do throw something out, it's really at the end of its life. That's generally how I go with things. And you'll have seen from all my other videos that I'll pretty much attempt to repair things that other people have decided they don't need, and I certainly don't need. That's a reflection on me. As for this Indocent Moon washing machine, will I just put it back together? Will I leave that board on it now for fun? I don't really know if I'm going to do any more with it. I might do a few test cycles just for the sake of it to see how crazy it is. And I might tinker about with the board a bit to see if I can make it better. But for now, I don't know. You tell me what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, or if you like any of my videos, subscribe. It lets the channel know, and it lets YouTube know, that you like my videos. Sounds simple, but ultimately it's a lot more complicated than I thought it was. And if you like the video, just give it a like. That'd be really helpful. Right. Thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs>